Hey guys, it's uh, 16th of November of uh, the year. Really, really getting by us. Six more weeks and we'll be in a new year. Uh, <laughs> I hope 2022 is going to be a better year for everybody. Um, anyway, I uh, haven't been in a creek, but I've been doing some culling here today. And I think some of these uh, items here are some things that you guys hadn't seen. So I thought I'd go over them with you. Um, so let's get started up here. It's a blackstone piece here. Just a nice uh, small polishing piece. A lot of work put into this little piece. It's been all polished off. You see where it's been held in here in this darkening, darkened area. I like finding these little pieces like this. A little duck head shaped piece. Really nice material, real hard, dense. Um, a little nutting stone here. It's kind of cupped out here on the end and uh, Got a lot of walnut stain you know, on this, this stone. It's been chipped out right in here. I think that's where they held it. I'm not exactly sure how they held this piece, but um, it's kind of crude. Um, that's what it was used for. Crushed nuts on that end right there. Um, there's a little um, of a medium-sized grinder here. Um, a little notch work done right here. It's a left-handed piece here. Grind the surface there. Darken right up in here. That's where your finger would be, your thumb right in here. A little wear around the edges. It's kind of a little bit of a unique piece. And here's a real simple grinding piece. A little kind of a wedge shape. A little palm grinder. It's a grinding surface there. Polished around the edges. See a little bit of chipping work done here on that side. Here's another one here. This is a really dense, I'm not sure it's a type of granite or just what it is. You can see where it's all chipped out right there and polished a little bit. And there's some quartz on the top. Chip that on, polished around the edges here. Grind the surface there. Kind of crude piece also, but it's a tool nonetheless. Now this piece here, um, I believe they were trying to form some kind of effigy with this. And if you look at this stone here, you can see these layers in here of, of uh, the stone layers in it. And when they, they did bird effigies, they, they really liked to use these type of stones that had layers in them like this. So there's a layer right there, a layer right there, and a layer right here. And you see where they chipped out this part. And um, I think that this was going to, you know, it was, it was a bird, type of bird effigy or... Um, Maybe a turtle. Um, but I don't believe it was a tool. But it could have been. But you see that a lot with the effigies, just layered rocks. They kind of give you the wing, kind of some definition when they're, they're, they're trying to make the body or do the body in the wings. A 
piece of pottery here I found. I think this was a medallion. Um, I found several pieces that are shaped like this. This has gone down the river quite a ways. Really worn. Um, this is probably late Mississippian uh, or late woodland uh, time period, Mississippian culture. You can see the ground quartz in it. It's thick. It was probably a coiled piece. This wasn't a fiber tempered piece, which is uh, your early pottery. But um, anyway, not too old, maybe 900 years. You know, that, that ground quartz kind of a dead giveaway on a kind of a later type pottery later time period a little, little polishing piece this these are little pieces I really like them <laughs> one thing they're uh you know they're not so hard to tote out they're not that easy to find either you know, they're, they're, they can be overlooked really easily knots there for the pump thumb and notched on that side back that's your polishing surface there nice little piece kind of interesting piece here um this is it probably kind of a dual purpose piece here i think they did some uh probably use this in right in here for some nut crushing and cracking right here but then if you look at this right in here you can see how worn that is they use that in as a hammer it's polished right in here really worn surface there so they were probably crushing nuts and then maybe hammering some things or doing i don't know with this piece it's polished all the way around. And like I said, you can see that really, that real worn spot right there where it's really worn. Kind of dark right in there. A little black stone polishing piece here. Little cube pieces that they would use to polish. It's kind of a linear polishing piece here. It's that tiger stone. I call it tiger stone, but they use the edges on this this one here for the most part to, to polish. They would hold it on the sides. A little dimple in it up there. You see that a lot. A little piece here. Flipped it over. and There's your polishing edge. This is, I don't know what kind of material this is. It's low grade, whatever it is. It's relatively soft, but they used it for uh, polishing something, maybe pottery probably. This is a neat little piece here. I think they pinch this from their finger like that and they used either side here to, to use the polish. Maybe real fine work. Dug that out of the bank. Saw this thing up right here, and I saw that chipping work in there and a little bit of darkening, but that's a it's a little palm grinder. Let's lay your finger in there. It's polished around the edges. That's your grinding surface.
this stone here I almost discarded it. I picked it up because I've anything that's kind of long I'll pick up. The more I got looking at this piece. Um this, well this thing's been worked quite a bit and um you can see all the chipping. I'm trying to get the light on it. This is a packet stone. And they chipped this out right in here for the thumb. And they chipped it out right here for the finger. And this thing would be held just like that. And on this back side. And they would just use it like this to uh, to peck with. And that's, you can see where it's worn on the tip there. Getting a lot of glare. That's yeah, a little better there. I know some people are like not, but it is. Dimpled out in the back. Obviously, you could use it, you know, if you wanted to. Give your hands a rest and use it that way. You like that. That's one thing that I've um, come to realize over time is that um, they didn't hold this thing always. These tools are always the same way. They just, um, I think they were using them so much during the day that they had to find different ways or either notch different places in a stone in order to be able to hold it in a different way to give their hands a break. It's a little polishing piece. A right hand a piece. Finger there, finger there, and your thumb here. A little dimple in the back. A little polishing piece here. This is a little pinch, little pinch piece. You just pinch it. Two fingers. Probably use use this for fine work. And here's another little one. That's a left-hander. Your thumb there and your, t your two fingers on this side here. Just like that. Here's a sandstone piece I found. Uh, again, this is a pretty crude piece. I saw some of this chipping work done on the front end of it on the side here. Kind of darkened, but um, see how they've um, how this thing was really really polished on this bottom here. Just smooth as glass right in here. That's, we could say pretty crude piece, but and last but not least, my quest to get these big grinders out. This one's been kind of beat up a bit, but um. It's a real long linear piece. Once you grind the surface there, polish there on that side.
polish in the back and it'll be a little chipped out and then polish a little bit here just enough to make it you know where it's not sharp mess your hands up anyway that's a big one It'll be about six pounds that's all i got today guys uh again i hope you're doing well and i appreciate you guys supporting my channel and uh we will try to get you something else to look at in the future.